Seriously guys, this is a no brainer. 15 minute go-to dinner any night of the week. My family has made it my entire life. I've made it for the last 20 years once a week. It's delicious, it's satisfying, it's incredibly easy. And I'm gonna show you a few foolproof tips for the ultimate chicken milanese. Grab your aprons, let's cook. guys, what is up? So today we're making chicken cutlets. I grew up calling these chicken cutlets in an Italian American family. In Italy, they refer to them as chicken milanese. In Japan, it's katsu. In Israel, it's schnitzel. It's basically all the same, a little bit of different variations along the way, but it's thinly pounded chicken, pork. It could be veal, whatever you want. Breaded, pan fried, insanely awesome. So first to get started, we have one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. So we're gonna place them into a zipper bag, just like this. And then we're gonna pound that hump evenly, so that way it cooks evenly. And now you wanna set up your breading station. You do not need flour. Here's what flour does. It absorbs the moisture of the chicken or whatever protein it may be. Then it adheres to the egg and then to the breadcrumbs. And then when you fry it and then take it out and you cut it, it separates from the protein. Here, we're only doing eggs, breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna show you two different breadcrumbs that I use. And then that way it adheres to the chicken and it's perfect every time. You want two large eggs and then give it a whisk in another separate bowl, panko, which is a Japanese breadcrumb. You want two thirds cup. That's what gives it a beautiful crispy texture. You want half a cup Italian breadcrumbs. So there's gonna be your flavoring. Stir them till they evenly combine. Take your chicken cutlets. You're gonna dip them into the egg and then into our breadcrumbs. So you wanna make sure both sides, they're fully dredged. Typically I always season any of my proteins with salt and pepper before I cook them, but not these. They don't need it. You'll see. At the end, we'll hit it with good salt. Any tenderloins in your package, bread them too. They're good. And then repeat the remaining. You could do this step up to a couple hours ahead and keep it covered in your refrigerator. I'm gonna go wash my hands and now we're just gonna pan fry them. So you wanna heat a 12 inch skillet over medium heat and then you need one and a half cups of peanut oil or canola oil. It'll take about two to three minutes and you'll know when the oil's ready when it shimmers. So almost think of a wind blowing across the oil. It kind of dances and shimmers. That's when you know it's ready. So don't add it any sooner because it'll saturate the chicken and make it soggy, not crispy. Don't touch them. We're gonna pan fry them three to four minutes on each side. So once you see it's golden around the edges, it's time to flip. Perfect. And then we'll cook the other side for three to four more minutes. So as soon as it comes out of the oil, you wanna hit it vigorously with kosher salt. So this is the time you season it. So what's gonna happen is it's going to absorb right in through the breadcrumbs and through to the chicken. It makes it perfectly seasoned. Freshly squeezed lemon right over top. So it just gives it that pop of acid and freshness. And some chopped parsley. Now we gotta give it a taste. So crispy. Perfectly cooked, cooked through, but juicy. 
just the way it should be. A little freshly squeezed lemon, a little extra on top. My family loves lemon. It never disappoints. Perfectly seasoned, all it needs is salt. Super crispy, nice and juicy. I actually used organic chicken breast. You can use whatever chicken you have. So good. Mm, I love this. You're gonna love it. Toss this with my homemade marinara. I'll add that link in the description below. Little freshly shredded mozzarella. Mozzarella. You're gonna make chicken parmesan. You're welcome. And there you have it, chicken milanese. So easy, you can make this any night of the week. If you like this video, you learned something, give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment box below. Be sure to subscribe. I do roll out a new homemade made easy recipe video each week. And if you wanna check out my homemade marinara and make a chicken parmesan, you can click this video link right here or click this one and I'll meet you over there.